guys happy tour day today i'm gonna go ahead and show you around the new studio so you can see what i've done let's go so let's go in and this is what my new studio looks like on this wall right here if you would remember from my very first studio vlog is where i have all these artwork from several artists that i've supported over the last few years and I'm actually working on slowly building up my original artwork collection as well. And I have two on the way right now, so I'm really excited to get those. Immediately to the right when you walk in is this workbench. Um, in my last video, you saw me kind of working on this. Got this for free from my husband's coworker and I just kind of DIY'd it to match the rest of my studio. So this countertop used to be black metal. So I just applied some contact paper in this kind of finish. Did the same for the bottom shelf there. And then we spray painted this white as well. This used to be um, dark navy blue color. Over here is the built-in pegboard that it came with, which I absolutely love. So I decided to hang up all of my paint tubes, at least the main ones that I use. I've been really loving the heavy body acrylics. So all of those are up here. Some Windsor Newton and then just my Liquitex Basics down here as well. So my main function for this workbench is for packaging orders because it's got some really nice height to it. So I'm not going to be bending over as much, which really takes a toll on my back. <laughs> so I just have a couple of packaging supplies right there, which is my gum tape scale. And then down here, I have all my blank canvases just neatly organized. In these drawers, I have more paints. So just a little extra of the basic Liquitex, the smaller ones that I bought year, a couple years ago. Some gouache paints and acrylic gouache. And in this drawer, I have all of my oil paints. So I have my water mixable, Windsor Newton, and then Gamblin. And I also have this really pretty color, Bob Ross Mountain Mixture. And I just some extra gum tape, ruler, whatever. Up here I just have an extra lamp, coffee mug that you saw me unboxing. I got from 
crafted by Joe. Cleaning supplies and then here are a couple of Valentine's presents from my husband. Um, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing and so he decided to get me this really cute plush Tom Nook. My daughter is absolutely afraid of, <laughs> which I'm okay with because then she's not gonna touch it. And then this little cute little Kirby. Like, I don't play a lot of video games, but when I do, I only play the really cute ones. He also got me a Kirby sweater. I'm not wearing it right now though, so I can't show you. And then a few of my newer, smaller paintings. Just a faux plant. Over here on this side is my very first art desk that I got a couple years ago. And this has a regulated top so you can have it tilted up or flat. And I decided this time to just keep it tilted up like this so I'm not tempted to just put random things on it. <laughs> so then I can actually use it for drawing or watercolor art. A couple of my favorite paintings from my last collection hanging out with me up there. And then over here is probably one of my favorite parts of this room is my painting station. So I really wanted to get my easel right by the window so I can get plenty of natural light. And I think that this is just a perfect spot for it. I have my painting carts back here, extra easels. The painting carts I can easily just pull out when I need them. Those paint tubes used to be in those carts. But if you have watched my other videos, you know that my daughter is in here with me. A lot of the times and she loves digging through the cart <laughs> so all of my paints would end up everywhere and so to kind of eliminate that problem I just kind of put all of my the ones that I always use up here so I'm not constantly searching for them when I'm painting <laughs> but I still left a little bit of the older ones down here so she can still have something to play with because I like seeing her playing with paints. I finally decided to get some monstera plants which I've been kind of terrified to do because I tend to kill plants but this time I'm hoping that this one stays with me and that I don't kill it <laughs> and I think it looks really pretty. Over here I'm gonna work on slowly building my plant collection until this room turns into a greenhouse. If we pan over to the left, this is my desk area. So I really like when I'm sitting down here, I am actually facing the room. Whereas before, my desk used to be right up along the window there. So I always had my back to the room. I just absolutely love this setup a whole lot more. So turn this into an L shape. So over here to my right, or I'm sorry, my left, is the printing station. In those drawers, I have some packaging things. So like stamps, stickers, washi tape, things that I use for packing orders. It's really nice because when I'm sitting down here and I'm printing, I don't have to get up. I can just literally roll my chair over and just grab my stuff. And I've got some artsy books right here. I also got this little holder that has our Bill's notebook my notepad for notes and ideas, as well as my calendar. So I like having easy access to those. Then I also got this monitorizer thing for my laptop, which is really nice because then I can have my computer at eye level, which is really nice, really help with my posture and just overall comfort and while working on my computer. Currently reading this ebook right now. So that's what's up. And then I got a little white keyboard wireless to go with it. So then that way I'm not just reaching over here. Oops. And I can type from down here. Also, I apologize in advance if this video turns out to be just me trying to catch my breath a lot because I am. <laughs> I'm very much pregnant and so I'm often very out of breath. <laughs> so I hope that doesn't bother you too much. And then going back up here is this drawer that has more art stuff. So all my original paper paintings. You, you saw me going through these in my very first studio vlog. So 
I'm not gonna do that right now. We pan over here, we have this little bookcase. If you remember, this bookcase used to be in the closet and it held a bunch of packaging supplies. But I figured I would just have it out here so then I can have an actual um, shelf for just books and decorative stuff. So I got some more art books, business books right there. One of my older paintings and then some random journals and then my sketchbooks. And then up here I just have some printing papers that I've labeled so then that way I don't get them confused. And then a couple of my art prints. And you remember this artwork that I got for our anniversary. Next to it I have my paper trimmers. Nothing changed, they've been there before. But down here, just kind of organize all of my finished paintings so they're not just sitting on the floor or everywhere. Although I'm gonna work on putting some of them back up on the wall somewhere because it's really, really bare here. I haven't figured out what I want to put on the walls, but my daughter, when I had all of my wildlife paintings up, she absolutely loved it. Every time she walked in, she would just look at all of them on the wall and she would say kitty for all of them. <laughs> And so now when she walks in, there's nothing on the walls and that makes me kind of sad. So I'm gonna figure out uh, which ones would go up. Speaking of walls, I still have these shelves that I don't know what to do with. Um, well, I do, I just don't know exactly where to place them because they, they are somewhat kind of permanent. So I wanna make sure I put them in the right place. One of them's probably gonna go up here and then another one over there because this wall grid kind of just serves no purpose anymore. For now, I'll just have some maybe mood board inspiration, some family pictures like I have up there, you know, and this little cute little postcard that I got from a customer, which I've never gotten before, and I found it recently, and so I figured it would be really nice to just have it up. And then this Van Gogh art print that my sister got me for my birthday last year. Here's nothing new, it still has all of my packaging things. Nothing pretty really, um, but I did organize the shelf a little bit, so it has all my bookmarks there, some more twine, glassy envelopes for stickers, art prints, all that stuff, thank you postcards. I have all my matte backing boards, envelopes, rigid mailers, boxes, mailing tubes, all that stuff. Nothing too fancy. I'm kind of proud of this one because this is just like a drying rack for clothes that I got from Target or Walmart, one of the two. And what I did was I just kind of zip tied the ends up here and then I just have all the tissue paper hung up on there. More boxes. This one has all of my notebook making supplies, more storage stuff. Again, nothing too fancy. But I like the fact that I can just close this and then hide all of that. <laughs> and then lastly over here, I mentioned that my daughter is always here. So I figured that I just put a toy bin in there for her. Even though she always ends up playing with my stuff. <laughs> but that's okay. And that is it for this studio tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I also hope that I have provided some of you some sort of inspiration if you've been in sort of a rut like I have been to just get up, declutter your space, do a little bit of reshuffling. I'd also like to give a shout out to Meg from Fizz and Flourish. She was actually the one who inspired me to reorganize my space, which I didn't think I needed until I started doing it. Go ahead and check out her channel. She is absolutely adorable and I'm hoping in the next few months here, I'll be able to film more painting processes as well as do some painting tutorials, painting time lapses, and all that stuff. If you have any questions or any ideas of what you want to see on this channel versus just watching me do random things in the studio, <laughs> go ahead and let me know and I hope that I will provide some sort of value for you guys. And that is it for this studio tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. It's really gonna help my channel grow as well as my business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Bye guys.